privileged to listen to fantastic research talks this morning. And um, I must say, I'm not going to talk about science, uh, but actually, um, I'm going to talk about scientists and working environment that we create for scientists at our institution. And uh, I would like to come back for a while to the uh, fantastic uh, talk on the smallest bacteria. We learned that the activity of genes depends on the environment. And I dare to say that the uh, scientific output of a scientist at a given institution depends also on working environment at this institution. And this is what I'm going to tell you about uh, with regard to my institution, International Institute of Molecular and Cell Biology in Warsaw. It's another um, presentation with a title. So uh, who are we? Um, we are a public research institute uh, operating since 1999. We've been just celebrating 20th anniversary of our institution. Um, we um, operate on two important documents, an international agreement between UNESCO and the Polish government that was uh, signed in 1995 and parliamentary bill that was adopted in 1997. And we are actually the only uh, this type of institution in, in, in Poland, which sometimes make some problems, but we can deal with them all uh, without no problem. Uh, we have our status that is adopted uh, or that is in, uh, given to us by president of the Polish Academy of Sciences. But this is actually the only connection between us and the Polish Academy of Sciences. We are not an institute that belongs to the Polish Academy of Sciences. Um, since uh, the beginning of ranking of scientific in institutions in Poland, we, we've been always on the top, and this is very important. And quite recently, it translates also to the money we get from the government. So, uh, what is very important at our institution is that we, we have two bodies, International Advisory Board and the Director. Uh, for you, International Advisory Board may seem something obvious at uh, research, research institutions in Western countries, but remember that um, IMCB was created at the late 90s, and I think we were the only research institution that had International Advisory Board, and this board has uh, very uh, uh, important tasks. First of all, they um, are involved in uh, um, recruitment of the director of the IMCB uh, and also uh, for recruitment of all group, uh, group leaders at our institution. So uh, the International Advisory Board makes recommendation to the president of Polish Academy of Sciences to appoint a director. But what is important for scientists is that uh, this board uh, makes recommendations to the director to employ uh, group leaders at our institute. And also International Advisory Board evaluates regularly all group leaders uh, at IAMCB. So who are they? Well, uh, currently uh, the, the board is chaired by Walter Chasing from Vanderbilt University in the USA. It is, as you can see, truly international advisory board with Nobel Pl Prize uh, winner, uh, Professor Chekhanover from Israel. But uh, all other uh, board members are important and they contribute to the development of our insti institute. Um, what is important for researchers at our institution is that they enjoy research freedom, uh, but also they have great responsibility for the, for the decision they take. Um, all um, mm, competition recruitments are international uh, at IMCB and they are open, transparent, transparent merit-based, uh, which um, is in line with the European uh, um, politics on, on uh, recruitment procedures. 
with uh, um, uh, that are summarized in European, European Charter for Researchers and Code of Conduct for the Recruitment of uh, Researchers. Um, another important thing is that um, the funding of IMCB uh, comes from two major sources. One is a subvention from the ministry, but also a vast majority of funding in the past, and now about 50% of the funding comes from uh, competitive sources. And this is just a, a history of our institute shown uh, through our income. As you can see, the, the government uh, contribution to the budget uh, uh, has grown uh, uh, in recent years. That's because we are a plus institution, and if you are in this top class, uh, of research institutions in Poland, you get additional funding from the ministry, and this is really substantial funding. Um, um, I would like now to focus on the, on the recently redefined mission of uh, IMCB, and actually our mission is a bit similar to the mission of, of FNP that we just uh, heard. So we support ambitious scientists of any nationality driven by passion to pursue frontier research that aims to make a difference for the society. And I think this is important to stress that research institutions should be responsible towards societies. Uh, we follow the principles of scientific freedom, but also integrity and responsibility. Uh, the other two points will be developed a little, a little bit further, but maybe um, I should stress the, the last uh, sentence that we provide efficient administrative support that enables scientists to focus on research. And that was uh, something that uh, my uh, uh, the, 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 that uh, um, representat representative of FNP stressed that uh, the laureates of FNP grants uh, complain on uh, lack of administrative support at some institutions in Poland. <coughs> so we have grouped our goals in three groups, scientific quality, institutional development and partnerships, and organizational culture. Uh, scientific quality is quite obvious uh, 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 to you, I think. Institution development is very important, and we support uh, this development in, in many ways. But uh, I would like to stress uh, what we mean by organizational culture. The first sentence is the most important one. So we would like to give every staff member at the institute a, common, a sense of common mission and shared responsibility. Our director, Professor Mianczyńska, she, she likes to compare our institute to human body where every single cell is important. So in a research institution, everybody from, I don't know, administrative staff, secretaries, uh, uh, core facilities, uh, researchers, professor, everybody is important and contributes to the success of the institution. Um, we have uh, transparent, internal regulations, which is very important. And what I would like to stress on this list is uh, support of, uh, that we support collegiality and a professional, friendly work uh, culture. Now a little bit about science. Uh, from the name, you know that we, do, uh, we, we are active in, in the field of biology. Um, our researchers do studies uh, uh, across various levels of uh, biological organization. We have a large group of, of um, well, we have 10 lab leaders. From those 10 lab leaders at IMCB in Warsaw and one 11th group in Poznan, four are working on structure, uh, uh, protein structure, DNA structure, the structure of uh, uh, DNA, uh, uh, and uh, complexes with proteins and RNA complexes with proteins. So this is lab of uh, Matthias Bochtler, Janusz Bujnicki, Marcin Nowotny, and um, Jan Brezowski in Poznań. Then we have a large laboratory headed by Marta Mianczyńska uh, working on cell biology. We have a strong neurobiology at our institute uh, with two groups headed by Jacek Jaworski and Jacek Kuźnicki. 
then uh, the uh, three groups that uh, are led by our youngest uh, lab leaders, Katarzyna Mleczko-Sanecka on iron homeostasis, uh, Wojtek Pokrzywa on proteostasis, and uh, Cecilia Vinata that, that, uh, who, who studies genomics using zebrafish as a model org organism. Uh, the last laboratory that will be open on the 1st of December this year is uh, headed by Andrzej Dziembowski and um, it is going to be a uh, laboratory of uh, RNA biology. Uh, as for the scientific output, we publish around 60-70 uh, papers a year with the average impact factor around 6. I know that people don't like metrics, but this shows you in a, in a, a, a quick view on, on, on um, our output. Then out of, uh, most of our publications uh, fall into quartile one, which I think is very good, but we are working or doing our best to become even better and publish in better journals. Uh, what, we, what we aim for, uh, our ins institute has, has currently 10 research groups. Uh, we have uh, a, a building that was given to us by the Polish Academy of Sciences. We don't own this building. Uh, we have two uh, core facilities. Um, this all is not enough for our institution to, to develop further, so uh, we uh, put a lot of effort in getting new building and now we have uh, funds and we started all procedures towards buying the, 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 the plot. So in, in a few years we are going to have uh, a building that will be almost three times larger than the current building and uh, we plan to have 20 research groups and seven core facilities. So I guess those of you who are now PhD students uh, uh, will be um, mature enough uh, to apply for lab leader positions at IAMCB uh, in the new building. Uh, while talking about development, we think a lot about core facilities. Currently we have two. One is Zebrafish core facility, the largest one in Poland, and um, general core facility that um, uh, takes care uh, of most of the uh, common insured uh, equipment, but we are planning to, to, to develop uh, core facilities to have at least, at least uh, six in the new building. Um, now a little bit about organizational culture and working environment, which is, I think, very important. Um, I don't know whether you know the, 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 the policy of European Commission with regard to uh, uh, human resources management. We entered a European uh, program that helps to introduce uh, the highest standards in human resources management uh, in science. And um, in 2013, we were awarded so-called HR excellence in research logo, but not the logo is important. Important for us is to create attractive and competitive working conditions for our researchers and for uh, those of, of you and people from outside who decide to come to us and join our team. Uh, we have actually had a visit of uh, European Commission evaluators who uh, who came to us with an aim to evaluate our efforts towards uh, uh, HR management uh, at our institution. And the, 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 the report was very positive. And here uh, we cited the sentences that were written by the reviewers. And if you read a sentence, the institution offers its researchers excellent working conditions superior to those they would find in a comparable institutions in Poland. Uh, it makes us think that we are on, a, on the right way to create good uh, working conditions through which we, we will attract the best uh, scientists to our institute. Um, I also would like to say that uh, uh, our researchers uh, have influence on the decisions taken at the institute. We have representation of all 
um, research groups, PhD students, postdoctoral researchers, senior researchers, and lab leaders. And we have regular meetings with them, and they can uh, suggest some actions, ask, ask for assistance, uh, courses, and so on to improve their situation at the institute. We value a lot uh, bottom-up approaches uh, or, or initiatives of our researchers, uh, such as the science program that was created mostly by PhD students. Um, next year in April, we are going to have second Young Scientist Conference on Molecular and Cell Biology. The first uh, event uh, was organized this year and was very successful. And I must say that um, if you want to get the best top uh, world-class speakers to an institution, you should, go, you, should, you should work through PhD students. So if PhD students approach this type of, 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 of person, uh, it's, it's, it's easier to get their yes than if uh, the institute director sends such request. Uh, another uh, bottom-up initiative is Women in Science Symposium that will be organized uh, in autumn uh, and also other initiatives. Um, uh, in, during the last part of my talk, I would like to give you some positive examples of, of developments in, in Poland, not at uh, our institution. Um, we heard a presentation by the Minister of Science yesterday in the morning uh, he was talking about um, the reforms that we are facing now. One of them is the complete change of the uh, education of PhD students. Uh, since October, we have so-called doctoral schools that are interdisciplinary. Uh, you can only create a doctoral school if you represent at least two disciplines. So our institute, having only one discipline, could not open a doctoral school. We entered a consortium, um, and now we are part of a PhD school uh, that gathers uh, biologists, chemists, physicists, and uh, medical uh, studies. And uh, first students have already started education at Warsaw for PhD uh, doctoral school. Uh, we also take advantage of uh, all uh, funding uh, from the European Commission that is directed to so-called EU 13 countries, so the countries that joined EU um, <coughs> some years ago. And since the very beginning, we were successful in getting this kind of support. Those are not research grants. Those are uh, grants money uh, that support institution, institutional development. And for instance, uh, using this money, we created uh, the, the, the zebrafish core facility that is, as I mentioned, the largest one in, in, in Poland and uh, also um, uh, comparable to, to, to facilities in Europe. Now we are implementing Mosaic Grant uh, through which we uh, were able to um, uh, attract to our institute uh, Andrzej Jambowski, uh, who will, uh, as I said, start his laboratory of RNA biology in December this year. But the money goes also to science management, uh, professional uh, HR activities, um, outreach, and so on. Uh, you will have a chance to attend another workshop. We also um, take advantage of, of uh, uh, grants and initiatives uh, offered by NAVA. And again, these are grants that support uh, um, institution, uh, foreigners at our institute, and um, uh, international promotion of uh, IMCB. Uh, another program that uh, is very attractive and may be interesting for you is so-called Yaskuri program. That was initiative of the Max Planck Society uh, in Germany, uh, and uh, it's a special program designed for uh, Eastern Europe, uh, with Poland as, as the first country where this pro program is being uh, introduced. And um, the funding comes from uh, Germany and from the Ministry of Science. Um, it's a very attractive program also when it comes to the funding of the PI of the group. Uh, you can have a look at the web page to see details. 
uh, in the first um, call, uh, two centers were created, both at the Nensky Institute in Warsaw. The second call has, the, the results of the second call have not been announced yet, but uh, we hope that IMCB gets one Bioscuri Center this year. And if uh, we are successful, uh, the recruitment for um, Dioscuri Center at IMCB will start uh, next year. The third call uh, will be announced soon, or maybe has already been announced if you are interested. The deadline is in March 2020. Uh, and the, the last uh, development I would like to, to draw your attention to is um, National, National Cryo EM Center that was created in, in Krakow. Uh, and what is really, um, I think, important to stress is that uh, this was initiative, common in initiative of 17 Polish uh, research institutions who wanted to have cryo-EM in Poland. And they succeeded to convince the Ministry of Science to put a lot of money in getting this equipment uh, that enables uh, uh, state-of-the-art uh, studies uh, in um, structural biology. And uh, our institute also contributed to, the, to this success as Marcin Nowotny was involved in preparing the application uh, to the ministry. Um, well, that would be all from myself. Uh, you are always welcome at IMCB. Uh, as the uh, last slide says. Um, if you have any questions, I will be around till the late uh, in the evening today, so uh, we can discuss, I can answer questions. And this is the photo from our last retreat. Uh, now we are going to have a photo of all of us, so let's see how it goes. Thank you. Thank you.